Welcome back wonderful people. In this video I shall be covering my pull day session at the gym. Those of you who are new to the channel, my name's Saj. I'm trying to lose weight and have been trying to lose weight since just gone March. I started off on the DDP yoga program to improve my flexibility and mobility and now I'm in the three month cycle where I'll be going back to the gym and getting used to gym exercises. I'm currently in week three now and today I'll be going through the pull session that I do on a weekly basis. So very quickly, what is a pull day, a pull session, a pull workout? Ultimately, a pull day focuses on the muscles that you use on a day-to-day -day basis to pull things. So that's your back, your delts and your biceps, the biggest muscles. Now without further ado, as we do normally, let's get into pull day session in three, two, one, let go. Morning, morning. Time right now. Almost six o'clock. Today, today I can't be bothered. But today, we are still walking to the gym. Still gotta get this workout done. See you soon. Empty gym, like it. Pause the screen right now if you need to. This is my pull day session workout plan. We will start with the bent over row with the barbell. Then we go over to the seated row, a lat pull down, incline row, bicep curl, hammer curl with the cable slash ropes, and the preacher curl. We'll be doing three to four sets of each, around eight to 12 reps on each exercise and then we would have at least two minutes rest in between each set. Starting off with the bent over row with the barbell, main thing here is control and form. This is the second set I went into, first set and the warm up set was literally just the bar to get used to the weight and make sure I am actually using the right muscles. Moving on to the seated row machine, you can see where my PT was, just gave me a quick poke as to where the workout should actually be being felt and what muscles should actually be using. So I should be using those muscles to be pulling the actual weight rather than from my elbows and gripping heavy from my hands. Now we are getting better with angles as well. Now you get to see me close and personal and the expressions on my face during these workouts. The pain, the sweat, the tears. But at the same time, learning point, elbows tucked in whilst I'm doing this exercise. And then you can see, if you look at my hands, how it doesn't even look like I'm gripping that heavy on the handles. Most of the work has been dealt by the delts. I was a little tired at this point, so to waste a little bit of time, I asked the PT, can you show me how to do a lat pull down? And there we go. So the lat pull down, the same as a seated row, main focus is on the lats, making sure most of the work is done by the lats. As you can see, the PT poking me in the area where it should be being worked and making sure that I get that muscle memory connection the point of it is to get the lats to work or rather than the workout coming from the elbows and a heavy grip on the actual handles itself and boom you love that cut don't you baby we're getting good at these cuts and this angle just shows the other side how much movement I have when I pull up and pull down so not too much swaying backwards and forth like you see some people at the gym nice and controlled over to the bicep curl here nice and easy elbows tucked in i started this off with just the bar which is 20 kg and then true story here we've got the 1.25s on either side these are called biscuits now before the pt went and put them on he goes i'm gonna go and grab some biscuits and i thought well done Saj. pat yourself in the back you've done well in this session he's gonna go and get you some biscuits but no, 
They are the name for these little weights here. 1.25 kg are called biscuits apparently. You learn something new every day and you don't get a biscuit for it. Tad bit upset. And believe me, having a 20 kg barbell with the biscuits on the end of it, there is no ego involved here. And then going over to the preacher curls. Barbell alone, we are isolating the biceps so that we can make the biceps grow. Get them Arnold Schwarzenegger kind of peaks on the biceps. But we've got a long way to go because I'm still just using the bar. But at this point of the session, I was done, tired, wanted to go home, but we still done a session. So if there's anybody out there who thinks they need to go and put weights onto a bar, nah, just do the bar initially. Understand the form, what you're working and what should be working and build from there. Week three, a lot better. Probably the best week I've had so far. Now, if you looked at the videos and watched it all the way through, you see form is a lot better. We're picking up bigger weights and overall confidence is getting a lot better. So it's probably taken me, let's say for example, two, two and a half weeks to get used to number one, form, number two, what exercises actually work for me and what don't work for me, and number three, understanding my range of motion because there were some exercises that I was originally given and still in the upper body, in the shoulder area, there isn't enough mobility. Now I'm a beginner when it gets to the gym side of things. So I am learning all the time. So I ask my PT questions, things that I need to know or want to know. Sometimes I'm just not bothered. I just want to get on with the session in itself. So if there's any kind of questions that you have for me, put yourself in the comments below and I will find out the information. Now touching upon my nemesis, the diet, the better eating, the healthier eating, that understanding and having a better relationship with food side of things. If you have been following me for the last few months, you know at the very end of the DDP yoga program, I kind of sat around the 13 stone mark, give or take a few pounds. Now come week three of going back to the gym, I was still lingering around at the 13 stone mark and it was kind of frustrating me shall we say part of my original exercise plan it dictated that i do 10,000 steps a day now because of my work 10,000 steps is difficult i'm office based i rarely get time to get out in the evenings because then i'd go to the gym instead 10,000 steps roughly i worked out to be around about five miles works out to be around about an hour and a half hour and 45 minutes worth of walking and I did struggle. My food in terms of calorie intake was right around about the 1800 to 2000 mark but I was struggling with the steps. So this week I forced myself to get some steps in. I compromised with the PT to say like rather than 10,000 let's get 5,000 steps in and I tell you what that has been a struggle and I have been moody. But on last weigh-in midweek, I had dropped a few pounds. So it is clearly that extra bit that I need to drop the weight because I've plateaued at 13 stone. Going into the next week, I need to up that a little bit more now that I've got that taste for what it will require for me to drop the extra pounds. And that is getting the steps in throughout the day. Now this should be the norm, but working from home, working in an office-based job, my daily steps is usually around about upstairs, downstairs, back room, front room, and that's pretty much it. So this week what I've tried to do is get out in the garden or walk around the block throughout the day when and, when and where I can, and then boost up in the evening when I get to the gym or I kind of park a little bit further away from the gym so that I get the extra steps. And it's little things like that and I'm building up to 10,000, but that's probably my biggest win this week is increasing my steps that has then allowed for the pounds to drop but the moodiness is there now as well the crankiness because i'm in a better calorie deficit but i just gotta get used to it that's the pain that's the pain of the weight loss and that wonderful people is a summary of week three of my weight loss journey being back at the gym we covered the pull session i went over my diet for this week and my little win we must always have 
a win in the week regardless of what it is there has to be a win otherwise it's just pure out punishment week on week and you're just beating yourself up no point about that weekly win we've got some steps in this week and pat myself on the back on that or pat myself on the back on that one thank you very much for watching you know what you need to do any comments or any questions that you have so far put yourself in the comment section down below and if you want to check out last week's video click here and then if you want to check out my 90 day review of the DDP yoga program click here and don't forget to subscribe there ladies and gentlemen and I shall see you next week